Okay, um, I will do a very basic um, portrait um, demonstration um, from very beginning. Uh, I put the camera in the middle so it does, uh, you know, block my own body to approach to the um, paper. But anyway, it gives the more strict um, view of the picture. So probably yeah it's hard for me to draw but it may be uh, more accurate for people to see the picture so um, I will start with I will draw, draw a face let me see uh, if I start like this is dark enough maybe yes it's inside, inside of the inside of the frame so at the very beginning, uh, you needed to plan where is your head. Uh, so I will put the head in this part. I'm drawing from a photo. Uh, it's a little bit awkward um, without a drawing from model. However, maybe for students it's easier um, to follow. So like this size, this is what I want. I will do here is the cross opening and the head. So at the very beginning, uh, um, sometimes we needed to find that the line not actually existing, uh, um, but you can find this um, center or core line of the whole head which is go uh, through the middle of the eyebrow and the chain. So you can see this line direction. If you like to, you can um, mark that on your photo. Um, maybe you can get a different print of the photo and have one photo have a mark uh, on that part and find the angle uh, was the tendency. Uh, so that helps for you, for us to capture the shape, but I, I'm not actually doing like that, but uh, you can try huh? So, okay, so usually the midway of the head uh, Like I'm I'm doing this portrait is very straight looking So it's more like an ID photo uh, so usually the midway of the of the head a little bit lower is the eye, eyes, eyes level. Uh, so make sure usually the eyes level is somehow is vertical. Uh, not always exactly vertical, but somehow it's vertical. So you can see this eye a little higher, this eye a little lower. Uh, make sure it's not like this. It's going a little bit like this. Also, you can mark this on your photo. It helps you to 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 capture the shape. So now I'm drawing the whole facial part of the face. So you can see you can summarize the basic shape. But we can we can correct it later. But at the beginning, sometimes it's good to catch this shape. It helps us to to find the what kind of category of the facial type or either the character. Yeah, so that helps. So actually her hair is a little bit pop out more. So so here is the line for the starting of the eye. The it here so sometimes different people different some some people studying of the hair is more backwards if people bold much more but if some people's this starting line is lower so it really depends you need to observe your picture to see what's the what's the actual yeah let me move the lens okay so I'm drawing behind the camera, so the camera looks like my my baby. Yeah, so okay. So um, 
this is the eye level, and, and then uh, from the starting line of the hair, we can we can divide the face into usually divide into three portions, and usually the first one, uh, the first one here is the eyebrow. It also depends. Uh, some people's eyebrow higher, some people's eyebrow lower. Really depends. You need to, you need to see a photo look like. And then usually, this section is for the nose. Also, yeah, I can move a little bit based on your actual situation of the photo. Uh, and this is to the chain. Uh, so one, two, three. Yeah. And then uh, make sure your line is very soft. Uh, some students do very hard edged, uh, hard edge line for this. It, it doesn't work, and I feel like it's, a, it's a hurt the first surface of the paper, and it, it's not so good forgivable. And uh, you know, you cannot uh, go on detail drawing anymore. So very soft line. So because I'm doing this for demonstration, I have to do it a little more darker for the camera to catch. So, yeah, a little darker than usual situation, but you can do much lighter as long as you can see. Yeah. So for the mouth, usually, uh, if from the nose to the chin, usually like a one third, so or is a little lower, it depends, um, but uh, at least not like a half, okay? So, Maybe the half could be the lower lip part, uh, depends. Uh, so like this is the mouth. Okay. So this is basic, basic facial. Yeah, don't, don't have to, you don't have to jump into details. Uh, some, of, some of my demonstration I start uh, with detail drawing. It really, really depends on the purpose uh, of my demonstration. And uh, lots of my demonstrations are to have a little bit higher level student to, to learn the, you know, the feeling of the drawing, like uh, drawing the details and the shading technique. So like a half an hour demonstration will not include these, you know, um, detail, uh, uh, this shaping, you know, outline process that will last the, with the loss of time when when the work go to detail and uh, they already lost the patience. So that's why I always like a uh, um, sketch or drawing without any outline. Um, for myself, uh, shaping is not a issue of the process or a certain method. It's more about my thinking process, about my understanding of the object. So when I have a very strong idea about the object uh, um, perspective status is already in my uh, inside of my brain. I don't need to show that process. But uh, but uh, this demonstration, particularly, uh, I'm doing this demo demonstration is for beginners to learn the portrait. So that's why I started from very beginning. I plan to do this um, process into like several, two or maybe three, even three. Uh, steps so you won't be bored with you know watching the whole process uh, for one time so this process I probably I will do like half an hour just the outline okay so um, although it's not so uh, comfortable for me to to draw but it's probably it's more easier for you to see the whole picture huh? so I'm doing this and then Usually we can start with find the shape of the nose. And usually the, the the base of the nose is not so obvious, but it's usually it's narrower than the whole nose. So you can sometimes you can mark, you know, compare this spot to this part to see what's the what's the angle. Sometimes you can connect them to see. Uh, also, you can compare your the most outside 
spot of the mouth extended either follow with this tendency to compare or directly go straight to compare based on your photo so that it helps you to adjust the, the position uh, left and right so now uh, you can uh, we can I'm going to do the shaping for the eyes and the eyes so her face is a little bit slightly turned to left so sometimes this side eyes could be a little bit longer than longer than uh, that side so make sure it could be different um, so also follow with this but the more detail shape the line is not totally straight sometimes some people's this line is a little bit eyes line could be a little bit curved uh, depends and also based on the perspective uh, sometimes if you uh, look down on the on the face on her face so this line is more like curved uh, because it feels feels like you are looked down upon on the uh, on the cup and then you can see the cup opening it's, you can got the curved line like this okay but if you look up uh, if you look up this line could go different different direction so uh, right now I see it's like this and also each person each people's uh, this corner of the eyes could be different some people's more like this way some people more flat uh, depends so it's good to take a look of that take care of this so now we draw detail I detail I this one and I notice that her this corner is pretty high go high a little bit okay so also use a very soft line when I draw this line uh, you, you need to take care of the thickness of this so not just a single line sometimes you have to do a little bit softer way to give a little bit of shading it helps you to feel you know the actual, actual quality of the line for you to catch the shape more accurate so that's one one eye and when you draw another eye somehow you needed to take care of this eye so because they needed to mirror each other uh, I mean the structurally they need them to be mirror, mirror, each, mirror each other's yeah but the actual shape is a little bit shorter a little bit shorter maybe I did it too much so you always remind yourself if your shape is all right uh, maybe maybe they even the shape could look differently because of the structure of left side can a little bit more turned turned aside a little bit yeah but sometimes when you finish your drawing audience cannot feel anything different but it, when you draw the drawing process you need to take care of this yeah, you need to understand why why does it look like this to feel comfortable okay so actually I'm doing this I a little bit is shorter a little bit shorter uh, but still feel symmetrical yeah both sides still feel feel symmetrical but in future when we draw pupil inside they also need the situation like that so some some shape need to be in our mind yeah we need to prepare this so this is the eyes and then when we draw the eyebrow go back to this eyebrow and the eyebrow is not just a one line but actually it goes to different direction so I, I want to draw here it's more go down direction and this is a more up direction you see the color is different so actually I don't know if I need to include this or I would just do this but some 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 method uh, some teachers they do the whole eyebrow shape so they just outline the whole thing that also works uh, 
and the wing white jaw this side yeah it's also shorter a little bit looks shorter but it still feels symmetrical so this is the eyebrow and then we then we draw the nose so when we draw the nose make sure the nose is a follow with this tendency but actually it's the most stick out right so it's not a totally follow with this because the the top of the nose is more sticking out so when it's sticking out what happens it's a little more tend to left okay don't afraid eh? I feel like for the nose looks so much <laughs> not so symmetrical anymore because it's a sticking out so you see the top of it the tip of the nose more, little more left yeah more left yeah so this this uh, portion this position uh, uh, this structure is kind of like a facing to audience, but not actually. It's a little bit side. It's very subtle. Sometimes more difficult than to draw than the actual um, ID pose or either like a totally profile of pose. So for now we see these two sides. This side is shorter. And this side bigger, right? You see, this side is bigger. And this side is much more covered by the tip of the nose. And this side is not so not covered at all. So the nose looks a little difficult to draw. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I have a message from a student. Just a temporary stop. Okay. Now we uh, draw the mouth, and I feel the mouth actually situation. I, I draw a little slower. I need I need to draw a little bit more. Move up, so move up a little bit. Yeah, and I, I see actually if the, for the two two side, this part and this part. And you see this line, the tendency, and sometimes because of the um, expression of your model. Sometimes it's not always even. So sometimes some people tend to, you know, as a habit to have one side a bit higher, maybe another side a bit lower. That's uh, the character of the model. Uh, you need to record that. Uh, it's something interesting. Uh, so I erase this a little bit. Okay. Then draw the lip uh, when you draw the lip uh, don't don't outline it too dark I, I believe that it should have a little bit of makeup so it could be I'm not sure she's beautiful sometimes I'm not, I'm not sure it's the makeup or not sometimes the it's more clear of the the outline of the lip but sometimes it's not necessarily that clear but the, your your line for drawing need to be pretty soft. Okay, don't don't do it too dark. It's pretty important uh, because basically it's not the border between two different faces. Sometimes it's a very much go through, you know. So okay, so the lower lip, the same situation. Yeah, sometimes it's not really clear of the border so but sometimes this part is more clear this part side is not that clear okay and it's very important to, to uh, mark that the thickness are uh, under the mouth uh, so although there's no color here but you can see it's actually in the shades a little bit in the shade so this is more important sometimes uh. So by the way, you can mark her little little dump here, little dump here. You know, you can mark very light. I'll mark a little bit. So that's her motion. So now we can outline the outline the face 
a little bit more. I found oh yeah, I had a little little mistake. Actually, when when I do the portrait, I want to find that mistake. I'm very happy because I I I I found something. You know, it's a, it's an inspiration. I I did not suppose like that, but actually, it is like that. So that's good. So now I outline. I still use very soft line to do this. Uh, very soft line to do this. So good. This is the most part of the facial, and then we draw the neck. When we draw the neck, it's very important to compare with the whole face to see where's the line come from. Not here, not there, but they. Can, you can extend it. You can you can mark that on your photo. Uh, so here you can mark over here to see it's like from here. But actually, her neck from here is not so clear because the here's actually here also is the hair. Yeah, but I know the structure is starting from here. But there's hair covered it. So not so much a worry about it. Um, but you can mark the position of the hair. And for the shoulder, you can compare with the chain to see where's the shoulder level. So the right now the situation, the shoulder is aligned to here. So the shoulder is like here. So for the for with the width width of the shoulder, sometimes you can see this negative shape to see. If your shape is okay, other you wise also you can measure, compare with the face. So usually the uh, head, uh, usually the shoulder is no more than the head from middle to the side. Sometimes the girls have shoulder a little bit narrower than boys. Yeah, that's the usual. So sometimes for myself, I, I draw based on feeling. I feel it's here, it's here. So uh, be confident to catch that shape. So now I work on camera, I need to move the lens a little bit backward to see the, so to see the outer lens. But anyway, let's go. Next time, next time I will move the camera backward when I draw details. So now I draw hairs. So very soft line uh, to draw here, very soft line. Uh, but I'm not shading yet. I'm just a mark. I uh, mark these positions. Okay. Okay. Let me stop. All right. So I switch the camera position. Uh, maybe it works. Good. So I will do more details. The now the camera is more uh, on the left side, so maybe the left side a little bit bigger than the actual situation. So, but whatever, um, we'll draw yeah details. So after I complete the shadow for the features, so now I'm work on more on the area between. So I put on the shading. Between to eyebrow, yeah. The actual drawing process sometimes in this situation I would do more like a hair and other stuff. But for teaching, I feel like it's more easier to see, you know, complete the facial part. Then we'll have a section work on the um, hair and the neck and other things. You know, you must understand this process. So um, I work on the. The air, uh, the the nose. So this is the area between the nose and the eye. And sometimes the it's better to shading floral with the structure. And I feel this part I need a little darker because it's basically it's in the shade. Okay. So when we draw the nose, 
we needed to know the structure. It's not a, a straight line drawdown. It's more like a curve. So in this part, it's more curved like this. I would erase the top part because uh, I did a tendency line at the beginning. So to make the nose look dark and this comparing lines, they're not actually uh, anything like a shading. So I need to erase it. So you draw the right side of the sh nose first. Yeah, draw the right side of the nose. So you see the hatching. I'm going like this way. So it's area like this, but I draw this a little slope like this and extend it. Extend it more lighter, actually more lighter. Yeah, to the side. So it's kind of like a, here, more contrasted, more contrasted. That's why we use the hatching instead of a smudging. You know, um, the shading help. You can you can see the structural, you know, understanding by putting the hatching line. Right, you see here it's going inside, and some part of it go to. The side, and we see this shading go here. Is it going wrong? And wrong. Yeah. So here, you can see the shading connecting to the shadow. And also the left side, we can see a little bit of shading. Not so much, not as dark as the right side because the same like situation of this darkness. You know, you always need to compare like left side and the right side. They're a little bit different. And also here the shape is like this. But this part is thinner. Yeah, the side is thinner because the tip of the nose more sticking towards the left side. So it's broke that shape. And uh, here the same thing, I need to make it a little lighter instead of the beginning process made it dark. And here you can get some this. Yeah, so for shading of the nose like this, the current situation of the lighting is pretty enough. Now I work more on the area for this eye. And I see, yeah, because a little bit difficult for me to approach it to the, to the paper because my, my camera is between, it's between the paper and myself. So, Excuse me, maybe not so detailing I can do. And um, the the way to holding the pencil right now is it's not so comfortable for me now. But anyway, it's a job. It's a job to do, so I must uh, overcome. So okay, so I complete this part. I would add a little bit shading for this a little more transmission of the shading from light to dark it's very subtle yeah it's a little bit so mostly the eyebrow here is is pretty dark here is dark but here is light yeah so same this part a little light and uh, here need a little more shading. A little more shading. Right. So okay. So now I'm going to work on the top of the.
the mouth and uh, here uh, very subtlety we can find a little dump to get a shadow on the left side and also some shadow on the right side it's very subtle uh, very subtle so because this face is towards top so the lights come from the top so it shouldn't be any shadow there I need to feel that it's a circle and this part is a little darker so I'm adding the darkness on the side and this side is the, is the light part so I made it a little gray color I don't know what happened erase it a bit and here we can see light part is here and here a little bit gray it's a little bit round sometimes on the face a very very subtle uh, difference can be very obvious uh, because uh, the facial part you know we are very sensitive about the little difference uh, people's eyes very uh, eyes very very smart to see that little difference so the drawing for portrait somehow is a very challenging because we can notify that very small difference between everyone even just the same person different time different motion uh, it gives you totally different idea uh, so, yeah, so these are something for drawing. We are very, we're very familiar with, as a drawer, you need to be very familiar with small emotional expression uh, of the face. Yeah, so we got uh, shading. So it's the area between the mouth to the to the chin. Yeah. And when we draw the chin, you need to notice that the chin is not just a single uh, uh, shape. Can we see that thickness? Yeah. Sometimes when the the lighting is not so strong. It's very easy to ignore that it's very much bony and you can see the bone itself have a little uh, slipping in the, in the middle and the two sides a little more round right yeah so this is the chain and then on this side you can see the line, the shading, the connecting to this. A nice hatching is very important for for a skin expression. Okay, so now we work on the cheekbone. So this part of the cheek, uh, also called the uh, sarcomatic arch, yeah, because it's very obviously sticking out. The for this kind of portrait is not that much obvious, but for a little bit of side of the uh, face, it's very obvious. It's kind of like a corner between the front and the side, so it's a very important part. For this one, not so much obvious, but for a good drawing, it's still a very important spot to catch this part. So um. If, if you use the vocabulary uh, to draw this or catch this or whatever, it's a landmark, it's important, all of these are easy. Huh? But uh, the real situation is you need to actually understand uh, when you draw this cheekbone, that means you are opening two faces from front and the side. So, so you need to see uh, if this is a crossroad, you can see there's some hatching on the top of it 
it's a go to the side go to this way oh, some hatching beneath it it could be darker and go this way to side and the hatching on the front of it on the top and the button uh, lower part and top part could be different but uh, but this one the lighting is pretty flat so not so much different but if you draw very detailed and a very good drawing you still need to tell that difference um, because it's very much um, deep supporting the the volume feeling of the work so but for this portrait of course, it's for beginning drawing. It's not that that critical, not that much critical right now. Yeah, it depends on the on, on your level. You know, for the beginning level, more important maybe is just catching the shape outline. Yeah. For for upper level, more important is the the volume structure. You know, the most high level of the drawing is uh, what's the language of the expression. You know how how good is your 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 drawing language uh, description. You know, um, it's not a low quality photo, but it's a high quality art. So, okay. So here you can see very clearly a slap. Go to the side. So we need to make it dark. Yeah, most of the situation um, for beginner is very easy to ignore this part, and because there are no features existing there, but it's more like about something darkness. Yeah, but it really helps to develop the volume of the face. So it's a pretty important. Yeah. Um, here the these details are more about more about expression so you notice that the hatching line I'm putting is like a, they needed to join each other yeah, they needed to join each other you cannot see any pitch uh, stitch uh, between each other's no stitching but uh, but they are go smooth, but you still can see the structure. You can see the difference. You can see the structure. Um, but it, of course, it's it's, it's, a, it's a little different. It's difficult to handle. You need lots of practice to get experience to work it out. Yeah, sometimes. It really take a while, and it, you see, I I did it at the very beginning. I did it the outline now, but but now we needed to merge the outline into shading. So you see, this outline is no more that obvious because when we make the shading darker, this outline what merge into that, and it's more more round of the face. It's not a single line anymore. Yeah, so now I will work a while on this. I will see the final video if I needed to edit it. Some part could we can play like uh, faster way, you know, speed up to save the watching time, but it, or I record it, I will just record the whole thing. So by the way, you see this shading go to the neck part, I will draw the neck. Do you, when you draw the neck, you need to have the line, you see, go around the neck, turn around, not, not just one direction so that you can see the structure and the texture of the skin. You can, by the way, you can draw the skin texture. 
a little little tiny folds you can draw by the draw by the way of the shading. Okay. So now I also needed to do the shading for the left side, not just the right side. So with the left side, it's more subtlety. I feel at the beginning when I did the outline, this part need a little bit smaller. Yeah, I notice it. So okay, so nice. I see. You see the shading. It's the same thing. I, the shading on the hair part a little darker. So you see this merge to the background, and this part. So maybe this part is is pretty dark. This part. So I will do this. It's also against. Sorry, I make it a little. Sometimes the the shape when you give it more contrasted, it's more easy to the shape enlarged. So sometimes we make it more contrasted. Sometimes we can we can shrink the size of it a little bit. Yeah, that that's something happening. So. Yeah, sometimes the shape is something to do with the lighting. So you have to adjust the shape when you do the shading. A little bit. I mean, just a little bit. Okay, it does not mean it's a very big difference. So, okay, so here I also add in some shading. These shading are half tone shadings. So they're really subtle here. Very little. But uh, anyway, when I finish the whole work, maybe I still need to adjust, change the tone a little bit. Yeah. But now I'm not, not very sure because the face part is not uh, Totally, you know, the background's not totally completed, so it's not so much a comparable. So I will just do what I feel okay. So now I'm going to do the um, background the shading, uh, not background the shading for the hair. I'm preparing the shading for the hair. So when we you know, if you look at my previous demonstration, you notice that I directly draw hair usually. But that way is a little bit taking adventure. So the easier way is just starting with regular shading. Um, just ignore this, uh, ignore this texture of the hair a little bit. Not so much focus on the texture. Um, but a much more focus on the the big value uh, value uh, or color. So you see, uh, I also I can leave some light part like here. There's something light, but of course, but we can leave leave them light. But if we do the whole this area dark, it's also okay because we can use eraser. To to help with uh, lighting up some little details uh, in future, I I just leave it in case I cannot keep it. But I, I right now I can when I can keep it, I will just keep it. So I'm shading for here is a whole part. You know, but when I do this shading, the the most important thing is put this into a darkness, not not for this line. So that's why I when I do the shading for this, I could make the shading pretty line, hatching line pretty dense, pretty dense and smooth and soft because it's a preparation. Yeah, this is the first time I do the demonstration with the preparation, preparation for detail shading. So, um, yeah. So, uh, okay. So when I do this part of it here, 
I also noticed this part is gray color. You see, it's a gray color. And here, this part also a gray color. But you need to analyze or separate the hair into different pieces with different color. You see, this is darker. Uh, the real situation. Okay, I made it some something wrong. It's much darker. I made make this part a little, little higher. And much darker. But I still need to be smooth. Okay, because it's a preparation. Dark. Uh, but uh, of course, I when I do the. Um, detail line for sh for the hair. I still have a chance to to work more uh, more color on this. So don't have to be really as as dark as you see. So I do this part also. Yeah. So now I'm doing this side of the shading for the hair. It's inside of the frame of the photo. So okay, I can do this part dark. So it's a little. You need to compare, okay? So this a little bit lighter than this, so not too dark. But this part, I marked it before. This part is darker. This part is darker. So much darker. So compare this part and this part. Oh, is it actually? This is definitely not enough. But uh, compare with this, this is a little lighter. And, uh, be careful of this edge. You need to be soft so that it's easier for you in future to adding the line for hair. So. This is part of very dark, so also make it dark. I'm using a 2B, okay. Uh, 2B, uh, uh, it's enough. I can do it to be very dark actually. It's not a, based on the type of paper, pencil. So, okay, this part is dark. So I'll do this. You see, I did it pretty even. And flat and smooth. Uh, this quality is, I'm pretty sure it's good for for future work. Okay, so here there's some some color a little lighter I do a little bit lighter a little lighter and the most outside is a much more light because this picture is a photo um, it's in out outdoor so you can see the sunshine and the backside with the light here so uh, it's pretty beautiful but, uh, for the most of the elements are about the color. Okay, so for drawing, so we needed to sometimes we needed to enhance some something and uh, try to figure out the way to make it right. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on her neck, and you see the clavicle bone it's not so obvious it's under the shade of the hair but I really think it's important so I make it 
a little obvious right now, but when I do the hair, probably it will hide uh, into the shades. So, okay, now I work on this side. You can see the little, little shadow from the hair. And uh, I believe this spot is the clavicle. It's a little bit of shades. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. So that these are something we needed to we needed to work out for for this step. Um, next step, well, I'm going to do the hair. I I would like to do the hair of this part first, and then this part. Oh, sorry, I knock on the camera. I would do this part first and then here and then here I would do, do like this. Uh, let me uh, make the camera a little bit maybe backward to have the hair much more. Okay, I can because of the when we draw the hair is not so much necessary to be very accurate so I will make it a little bit this way so I can have my hair hand much more yeah this one's not so easy to approach it but it's good to, to see from our stand to draw so I will draw the details so see the details and then when this process when I draw I mostly use the line follow with the Follow with the texture of the hair. Ah, this is the way to draw hair. Yeah, but then there are no uh, definition or Difference like you have to do a certain part with the all of these using the the line of this this kind of texture shading line or or this kind of shading line. So they can combine and it depends. So it can be all kinds mixed up together. So can. Okay, let me stop a while and then we'll start, we'll do again, okay. Okay, here's the final uh, work. I corrected a little bit on the um, hair part uh, because I, I make a, I need to make a different left side and right side to have the left side a little more density, the right side a little bit loose, the uh, top part a little bit more lightened, so it's more uh, matched to the um, to the facial part. So um, I didn't do too much on the um, clothes, although I, I thought I needed to do more detail, but I feel like I, I prefer to keep the um, facial part like uh, the status we did at the um, demonstration and then so it's, I don't want too much detail for the body for the body part so uh, also the hair is not a, a very much I don't want uh, wanted to grab the uh, audience notice from the face so that I I just leave it uh, like the situation I just did so okay so here's the let me see a little more detail probably for you. Yeah, details. So the hair, this side, this side. Yeah, you can see the different the contrast uh, from this part to that part. You can see the more dark and more contrast here, and the more less and the more less. You can see the difference. And also this hair, 
can see the contrast here and the more or less. Although you see the line is also um, very much uh, uh, sh sharpened, uh, very much uh, expressive way. But uh, you can see the contrast is different. Actually, this part more contrasted and here less contrast. So you can see the volume. And then the top part of the hair, see here's the core from the, the corner between the light and the dark. And then the light part, I leave it very much skipped. And then this part more contrast.